Welcome back to everyone's favorite show, Eagle Vision. Did you hear the news? No, what happened? I don't know. I was just seeing if you knew anything. Well, I'm sure Savannah and Ava could tell us something new. Down to you guys. This week on Real World News, we are going to be talking about the death of Betty White. Star of Golden Girls and died at 99. Now let's go talk to some students. Betty White, I'd say, is just a really funny old person. She did, she did a lot of TV shows, you know. She is a famous actor who just died. My favorite Betty White moment would be when she went on SNL because she just made me laugh a lot. In the Golden Girls when they say goodbye and they're all hugging and like a little group hug. I don't think anyone could take Betty White's place, but I'd say Danny DeVito. She's irreplaceable. My favorite old person is my grandma because she is a comedy queen. She is so funny. My favorite old person would probably be the coffee guys that um, are at Maple Mart. Queen Elizabeth II. Now that we got the scoop on Betty, let's go talk to some more people. Betty White is a famous actress from Golden Girls. Betty White is a TV icon. I don't have a favorite moment just watching Golden Girls. Uh, her character on the Golden Girls. <laughs> Nobody can take Betty White's place. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. If I had something to say to Betty White, it'd probably be don't stop what you're doing because you're making me laugh and not a lot of people can do that. Thanks for the laughs. Could it hang for New Year's? Thanks for taking 2021 away. You'll be missed. Well, that's all for this week. All right, Pete Betty White. You'll be missed. Wow, Betty White was sure a role model. No kidding, she's done a lot. Well, rest in peace to the legend. I always thought Betty White was some type of cook. I did too, and speaking of cooking, I think Big Al is going to tell us something about that. Down to you, Big Al. Well, after going grocery shopping and surviving a pickup truck in the cold, let's go see how the food is made and some tips and advice for us seniors to know how to cook food. Well, we have Tommy the ovens here, and uh, they're very helpful because they have to do it steam, with steam, part steam, and just no steam at all. So that's the best way to cook that stuff. Um, of course, at school we can't use crock pots, but that's my go-to at home. <laughs> I really like um, stir frying. It's kind of forgiving, and um, a simple walk you can do a lot of different foods in. Probably pizza, pop it in, and that's it. Uh, eggs, I think eggs. I uh, say, uh, if you're looking for a job in the cooking section, it's not an easy job. It's very demanding, it's very um, mental part of it, trying to get it all together. It's a very demanding job, but it is rewarding. Keep it simple and focus on cooking. Don't, don't look at your phone, don't do a hundred other things. Um, just pay attention to what you're cooking and, and try to just focus on that and try, don't try to do too many things at once. I'm hearing from a couple people. Let's go hear some more from other people. I think that the best way to cook is using an oven. Usually that always turns out pretty good. Uh, the best way to cook, in my opinion, that I've done so far is uh, either stove top in the oven or uh, the air fryer. Try a variety of foods, um, especially if you're in a um, college setting, not just always sticking with the same thing, but try some different things. At least going into college, for my opinion, is get yourself an air fryer. They're very helpful when it comes to cooking food. Now there you guys have it. Now back to you guys. Thank God we got something on that. I'm stressing out about being an adult. Isn't the winter formal coming up soon? I think so, and I got some pretty killer dance moves for it. My dance moves are a little rusty. Well, maybe Kaylee can help you out. Down to you, Kaylee. Welcome back, everyone, from break. Today on Middle School Minute, we're going to talk about school dances. Show me some cool dance moves, Mallory.
I don't really have a go-to dance move. Uh, <laughs> uh, my go-to dance move definitely has to be the sprinkler. Um, I'll just start twirling. I guess you can get into the dancing mood by just being with the right people and you can kind of get each other. Probably the Cupid Shuffle because it's a really upbeat song and there's actually a dance to it. So. The Cupid Shuffle. Macarena. That's one of the greatest songs. Either Cake by the Ocean or. Macarena. Now that we talk to some kids about the dance, let's go see if they have a date. Pickup line would probably be if you were a booger, I would pick you first. I'm just gonna I'm planning on asking my friends because we always do stuff like that. Oh, all that dancing has made me exhausted. Well, that's all for this week on Middle School Minute. Back to you guys. Our apologies, guys. We're gonna need some knowledgeable advice. Let's go down to Sierra with Knowledge Bowl. Welcome back to Art Spotlight. This week, we're going to head back and look at Knowledge Bowl. Competitions work like this. You have a 60 question, multiple choice written round with your entire team, Scantron sheet, um, and then after that, you get ranked according to how well you did in the written round, and you get placed with two other teams in a room, and you have an oral round where you're buzzing the strip, kind of like Jeopardy or some type of game show and uh, there's 45 questions and whoever buzzes in first and gets it gets the question. The, the, the knowledge that I possess is mostly history as a large portion of it. I do a lot of other stuff as well but mostly history. Leah says the quality she brings to the team is she knows a lot about chemistry in the sciences. Um, I would say the strongest qualities are being worldly. Um, knowing a lot of things, reading books, watching TV, paying attention to history and pop culture, just being educated. Because uh, I thought it would be fun and Miss Greenhouse was hounding me to do it for probably a month. Uh, I like doing Knowledge Bowl because I'm a nerd. And I did Knowledge Bowl when I was that age and it's, I know, it's a lot of fun. It's fun to you know, hang around with smart kids and see what they know. Leah joined Knowledge Bowl last year because she didn't hear anything about one act and decided why not try it out. Now that we've got a refresher on what Knowledge Bowl is, let's find out how they're doing this season. Knowledge Bowl so far I would say has been going pretty well. We've been doing okay, we have an okay team. Today, Friday, January 7th is their second meet. On their first one, their top team scored 10th place out of 24. <laughs> it's going pretty well. I've not been there very recently because I've been sick. You guys are a lot smarter than I'll ever be. This has been our Spotlight. I'm Sierra, tuning out for the last time. Take it away, Grant and Jacob. Did you guys have a game this past week? Yeah, we were in a tournament, but I don't know if any of the other sports teams had any. Well, let's find out. Down to you, Fish. This week on sports, we'll be talking to the winter sport athletes about what they did over break. Now, down to Zach Herman with boys basketball. Uh, the boys basketball team did all right overall, I'd say. We went two and one, losing to Lake Crystal and beating New Richland and St. Croix Luther. Went to the Bethany College in Mankato for the annual Bethany tournament. The girls basketball team did pretty good over break. Um, we beat Caledonia in the first game and then lost to Plainview in the second. Um, the girls basketball team traveled to Winona State University for a holiday tournament. Thank you, Ryan. Now that we've heard about some basketball, let's go talk to Braxton Simon about wrestling. Well, the wrestling team did pretty good. We traveled to New Richland, beat New Richland, Lake Crystal, and Mankato East. Uh, we traveled to New Richland on Thursday the 23rd. Thank you, Braxton, for telling us about wrestling. That's all for sports this week. Now to scoreboard. 
girls basketball traveled to Winona and played Caledonia, where they won a close one, 47 to 46. Then they played Pem and lost 44 to 51. The boys basketball team had their Bethany holiday tournament over the break. Their first game they played Lake Crystal Welcome Memorial and lost 48 to 54. Then they played St. Croix Lutheran and won 71 to 36. For the final game, they played New Richland and won 76 to 45, getting Constellation champs in the tournament. The wrestlers had a quad meet and they went 3 and 0 with scores of 59 to 13 versus Mankato East, 75 to 3 versus Lake Crystal and 56 to 21 versus New Richland. Thanks, Fish. I still don't know much about this next segment. Well, let's go take a look. Jamie, down to you. Hello, hello, hello. And welcome back to Jamie's ASMR. As you can see, I'm kind of swamped here um, with Sue out of the building. COVID. I was the only secretary that Ted could find for a replacement. It's almost my lunch and I can't get anything done around here with all these kids coming in late and asking for passes. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Come in. Sorry ma'am. May, may I please have a pass? Yes, you can get a pass. And what was your reason for being late? Well, um, let me find my pen here. Um, it's kind of a long story, but um, basically, uh, my car is broken. Yeah, my car didn't start. That's what they all say. finish this episode and send it down to our commercials. Down to you, Caleb and Lydia. Nordis American Homes, located off of Highway 22 in Minnesota Lake, offers the best contracting services in the Midwest, providing custom-built homes for over 70 years. Nordis representatives strive to keep you as included as possible in the building process and offer many services to make this lengthy process easier, such as the VR, which allows you to tour your home before it's even finished. Nordis always strives to utilize high-quality materials and craftsmanship while providing exceptional design and customer service. With the free consultation, no strings attached, to discuss building and design plans, do not hesitate to call now. Well, Cody got a promotion today. He's a part of our team officially now. Yeah! Thank you, Cody. That's it. See you next time.